Welcome to my first vlog. I sound a little gross because I'm getting over a cold and I'm still a little bit sick, but I wanted to go ahead and get this film to show you the behind the scenes of what it looks like for my small business during the holiday season, kind of what I do to prep, and then also just a day in my life as a small business owner and nursing student. So to start off my day, I was actually practicing central line dressing changes. I had a check off for nursing school. It's my last check off of the term. So I wanted to do really well. So I practiced all day long. I actually ended up doing the check off and I passed, which was really exciting. Here's me just flushing a central line. And this took up pretty much a majority of the day just practicing these skills. My office was literally overflowing with boxes. These are all blanks from PressHall.com. They've been sitting in here for a while and I knew I needed to get started with pressing shirts. So that's exactly what I did. I started taking out all my blanks and then I also used these screen print transfers. They're awesome. I love them. They're so much easier than vinyl. Willow also wanted to make an appearance in the vlog. So here she is sitting on my shirt being a naughty kitty, but she's so cute. I couldn't move her. I started pressing my shirts. I have my long sleeve blanks here and then also my screen print transfers. I use this handy dandy ruler that my dad built me just so I can measure to make sure that my design is actually in the center of my t-shirt. And then my heat press is set at 325 degrees and I press it for 10 seconds. Then when I peel off the design, I put on a Teflon sheet and then press again for five seconds just to make sure that my design is really set in the t-shirt. Of course, I needed video footage to post on my reels and my TikTok, so that's what I did. I set up my phone and started taking some video footage while I was pressing. This is kind of weird, but for my video footage, I actually go on my Instagram and then I act like I'm going to be taking a story. So I click on the button, I click the story button, and then I find a filter that I like that makes the shirt pop. And I actually record all my videos on Instagram stories and then I save those to my camera roll. And then I can use them on TikToks or for reels and they already have the filter that I like on them and then I save them for my camera roll just so I can reuse them again so if I just filmed it on reels um, the footage would go away because I would post the reel so saving it to my camera roll actually allows me to reuse it on TikTok and other social medias. Here are the shirts after they're all pressed. I'm really obsessed with this color and also this design because I'm literally always freezing, so it's perfect for me. I just picked these up and took them over to my desk so I could start putting my logo on them and tagging them. Ironing on my logo inside the shirt is probably one of my favorite parts, number one because it's so much fun, and number two because it makes the shirt look so much more professional. For my custom logos, these are actually screen print transfers and I get them from a place called Transfer Express. So what I do is I went on Canva and then I designed a whole page full of logos with my name, my company name, and then the different sizes that I needed. And then I uploaded this big sheet to Transfer Express and they sent me this big large sheet full of all the logos that I needed and I just cut those apart and put them in this little storage drawer that I have next to me so I can easily um, access it for when I'm ironing on logos on the inside of my shirts.
After I was done branding, I then fold my shirts. This is probably the best creation ever. I found this on Amazon. It's called a t-shirt folder. It was only like $10. Anyways, you put your t-shirt in it and then it helps fold it for you and they come out perfect every single time. If you're folding a bunch of t-shirts or inventory, I highly recommend investing in one of these because it makes it go by so much quicker and they also look exactly the same so they're perfectly folded and it saves you so much time. Now for some tagging, I designed these tags on Canva, I custom designed them myself and then I uploaded them to Vistaprint as actually a business card template. So I went on Vistaprint, looked up business card template and then uploaded my design and then I just did the double sided one because I have my logo and then on the back side the washing instructions. They virtually look the same as a clothing tag, just a lot cheaper. I was so exhausted from the day that this is actually the following day so I got home from school and I started folding the rest of my t-shirts and then of course Willow had to try and help. Um, she wasn't much of a help but she was cute so I kind of let her just hang around while I did my thing. Once all my shirts were tagged, folded, and had the logos on them, I just set them in this box so that I'm able to bag them later. I was too tired to do it today and I had a lot more shirts to press. To finish off my night, I just pressed a few more shirts. These are new ones that are coming. They're Christmas tree design. I'm so excited for them. I have to press like 80 or 100 of them, so I'm trying to set a goal to press at least 20 a night so I don't have to do them all in one day. Just kind of split it up and make it a little bit easier. So that's what I did. And then after this, of course, I took a shower and went to bed because I was so tired from doing school and work and prepping for the holiday season. So I'm really excited for these ones to come. They're super cute. And thank you guys for watching this vlog. I know it was a little chaotic and kind of encompassed two different days, but that's just how it goes when you're running a business and also a nursing student.